Oh, just a little trim. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, got a stray hair. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome. Thank you for joining me for another one of the most boring videos you will ever see. In this episode, I'll be tying one of my latest innovations, the Articulated Flashback Zebra Biot Emerger. It's a new pattern that I've been developing. It's just like this other fly, but I changed the thread color, so I invented it. That makes me a professional fly designer. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. This video is about fly tying. Tie flying. Fly tying basics 101 introduction for beginners. Stay huge. Okay, let me guess. You've been fly fishing two, three years now. You've pretty much mastered the sport. You've been to Alaska. You went to Louisiana for redfish. You probably caught a big trout at the Sequoia or a boxwood. You even caught a trout on a dry fly. You're pretty much a master at this. You are a refined angler. You've got this dialed. Now you're ready for that next step. Flying your own ties. Ben, this is a fly tying video. Why are we watching skiing? Oh, no reason, really. I just thought it'd be fun. Stop overthinking things. Wait, that's a really good idea for anything in fly fishing. You fly guys are always overthinking stuff. We're gonna keep it real simple. You're only gonna fish mop flies and squirmies anyway. Or Frenchies. Being a tie flyer is gonna help you get deeper into the sport. Really become one with the fish. Tight threads. You should get a little kit to start out. But just tools, no materials. Buy your materials separately. You wanna select your materials. Not all hair and feathers are the same. There's even different kinds of marabou. If you don't know how to select materials, go to your fly shop. Those guys know. That's what they're there for. They'd be happy to teach you. There's probably a YouTube video about it too. Also, I want you to know something. Fly time is not going to save you money. You're just gonna spend that money on more stuff. You probably heard that craft stores can be a really good place to find materials. It's true! When you're in there, check out the sticker aisle. You wanna know something? I don't ever use head cement. Oh, oh no! I'm just lazy. I whip finish twice with four to six wraps each. They do come apart sometimes. Learn to whip finish with your hand. You can do it with a tool, but it looks cooler to do it with your fingers. So you're not breaking thread occasionally. You're not putting enough tension on the thread. It's like occasionally hooking bottom when you're nymphing. I love nymphing! Once you've tied about seven flies, then you're ready to be a commercial tie flyer. For that, you'll need one of two things. A logo that's some version of this design or an Instagram handle with your area code in it. One of the best parts about tie flying is coming up with new patterns and making up your own stuff. Playing with different materials, experimenting, trying out new things. But just because you add a bead to an existing fly pattern or change the thread color doesn't mean that you've developed a new pattern and now you need to name it after yourself. I'm not saying you shouldn't experiment. I mean, have fun with it, but keep it real. The two-tone squirmy's already been done. Proportions matter. It's important. Very important. Tail length, wing length, head, thorax, abdomen. It's gotta look right. It matters. What doesn't matter are things like number of body segments. Fish aren't counting the number of mayfly tails on your nymph. Number of thread wraps does matter. You wanna minimize thread wraps. Fewer thread wraps is better. You're gonna reduce bulk that way. Again, half as long. Once you've got your tying area picked out, it's important to get organized. It's gonna help you dig through the mountain of stuff you're gonna accumulate. Let me show you. This is not organized at all. That could be worse. I do have some organization down here. Let's see, we've got dubbing, stickers and koozies. Hydration is key. Get yourself a comfy chair. Ow! Posture is important. Don't sit like this. You wanna be right in here. Lighting is important. Don't wanna strain your peepers. You need those for fishing. No need to go overboard, just something basic. Maybe like this.
Okay, let's wrap it up. That concludes today's lesson. You are hereby officially certified to start tying some sick articulated midges. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check the links in the video description. Thanks for watching. Stay huge.